I'd just like to invite you to think about coaching ground rules. That is the set of rules that were established at the start of a coaching session. Now, ground rules seems a bit formal, so, so let's really explore what it means. When you start to help a person with their thinking, right, you will either know that person or you won't know that person so well. Okay, so depending on the relationship that you already have, let's assume that we don't know the person very well. They will come in with a set of thoughts and maybe expectations about what help they're going to get. And it can be quite normal for people to expect that uh, you're an expert. And we know that our role as coaches is not to provide expertise, but it might be their belief that that's what it's there for and that you're going to show them some things. So actually being very clear at the outset, I would tend to set up some basic ground rules like this. I'd say, firstly, you know, anything that you share with me is confidential. Okay, that, that's an absolute, you know, must have at the start. My role is to help you with your thinking, to move forward. Okay, and then I will explain a little bit, if necessary, and it's not always necessary for some people, to understand the process that the next 10 minutes or half an hour is likely to follow. So for example, I might say something like, what I found really useful is to focus at the start on what it is that you want to achieve. And then we'll explore some ideas together about how you could possibly get there. And we'll end up building a little action plan that you can use and go away, away with to implement. How, how does that sound? So what you're doing there is signposting for them what's going to happen. I might then explain my role is really to get you to do the thinking, right? And I'll explain that I'm not an expert, right? But I'd like to ask you some really good questions to help you focus on what you want and then explore how possibly you can get there. Does that sound realistic? Does, you know, does that sound fair? And if you explain it that way, most people go, yeah, okay. And then I say, so let's focus on the first few questions. And I always have a notepad with me, so I'll, I'll, I'll put that down and say, you know, we might later want to just write some notes down so we can build that action plan. So again, that sets their expectations at the start. I might agree with them the time frame that we've got available. So for example, I say, you know, we've got half an hour now. Let's see how we get on. And if we need more time, we can agree that later at the end. Okay, I'm keeping it very informal, very soft and gentle like that, just so people know basically what my role is. I don't explain what coaching is, I don't explain the GOMAD framework, but there might be some people that are interested in that methodology. There might even be some people that you coach that actually go, hey, I like this, how can I learn to be a coach? And then you could let them know, you know how they could perhaps become a community coach. So that's just my thoughts uh, at the start of a coaching session. Keep it informal, explain what your role is, confiden confidentiality, about asking questions, and signpost them through what's actually gonna happen with the time that you've got available.